Hello, today's video is on stock number 35800TE, the uh, frequency and pulse width uh, generator module. I uh, thought I'd make a quick video on this just to show you some of the programming. Uh, they like to do things through a little couple buttons. It's kind of difficult to read the directions and understand it, so here we go. Just a quick video. Uh, first off, you see an on off button that uh, does not turn the unit on and off. What it does, it turns off the output. So you just simply turn so you can program it. Whenever you see the display flashing like that, it's it's off. Press again to turn it on. Uh, next is uh, I'll sh have to show you one thing is if you were to remove power, it will save the last setting. But when you turn it back on, it automatically starts flashing, which means it's off. So you would have to press the on button again. So just keep that in mind uh, to. Uh, you know, if you find out you lose power and the unit's turned off, that, that, that's the reason why. Uh, when you first start adjusting the knob, there's a little minus, a little plus, it's, it adjusts the frequency. Now this is what's in called the normal mode, which is simply 1% one, 1 per, uh, per turn, per click on the uh, encoder wheel. Uh, it does have what's called a fine mode. I will show you how to how to operate that in a moment at the towards the end of the video. It's 99% of the people are going to want it in this mode anyways. So uh, first time, like I said, you start turning it. You see the little display. It you uh, if you press the button, you can adjust the frequency. And as soon as you go above one kilohertz, you see it goes to uh, that's one point. That's one uh, 1.12 kilohertz. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, let's start a little programming. If you were to uh, press and hold for two seconds, the button. This is uh, if you want to set a range for your uh, your duty cycle. Let's say you don't want to you 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 want to preset a range that you can't go above uh, above or below. DN is for the the lower end. Up is for the upper end. So let's make it between 40 and 50 percent duty cycle. Uh, then press a couple of seconds and you're back. Whenever you see output, that is your output and you're going. So as it is, we can't go below 40 or above 50 percent duty cycle. Interesting little feature. Um, okay, let's say you get it set to where you, you want it and you don't want someone to actually walk up and, and turn the knob and adjust it. If you were to press and hold for 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, seven, eight seconds. Now you see you have this two little uh, displays right in front of it. No matter what now, it is set. That way you can't accidentally bump it and, and change your settings. There again, if you lose power, it comes back in the off position, you just need to hit on. And you see you still it's still in the lock position. To unlock it, you simply hold it for that seven, eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now you're back into the regular operating mode where you can change it. There again, press to change the frequency. All right, that is most of the uh, programming. Now let's get into the difference between uh, normal mode and what they call the uh, accurate mode. Normal mode is good from 1 hertz to 150 kilohertz. Accurate mode is only good from 1 hertz to uh, 15 kilohertz, but it does give you an extra decimal point range in the uh, duty cycle. So let me let me show you how to get into that. Okay, this time you press and hold for about 10 seconds, 10 to 12 seconds. And now you're in the hold mode, and we go past that. Okay, now if you notice you have an extra little decimal point down there at the bottom. Yep, I quickly put up 15 kilohertz, <laughs> confused a little scope there. So, and that's how you would get in and out of the uh, defined uh, accurate mode. To switch back to normal mode, you would just simply press and hold. Okay, once you get past this mode, okay, now we're back into, as you see, the regular normal mode. We'll run the frequency up just to show you the decibel points. 
when she gets the next 12 kilohertz. Guess that's one drawback. It does take a while to dial it up. Okay, and once you get above into the 100 kilohertz range, you can see it adds the actual decimal point. And you get up to the maximum of 150 kilohertz. Okay, I think that uh, most of the operations, that's how you, you program it. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.